Forgot to mention, you're probably wondering, Alex, why do you have like two of the same bag? <laughs> because they're really similar and this is part of the reason why I wanna make this video because I had two bags and they're so similar. But this one was a gift. This one was from my Aunt Wendy. She got me this and this wallet. So I just wanted to put that in there so it's not like I'm just buying bags that look exactly the same. My aunt gifted this to me and I love it. I am very grateful to her and I just wanted to put that in there just just to put it in there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe we are in 2020. I know I've already posted a few videos, but still it just kind of blows my mind. Today I am filming kind of in my same setup, but I decided to change it up a bit because with this new wide angle lens, I can play with my setup a little bit more and I'm actually using my external mic on it. But today's video is not about camera or gear. Those videos are coming in the near future, so stay tuned for that. This video is going to be a purse comparison because these two bags are so similar in just the way that they're designed and their shape and everything. So the bags that we are going to be talking about today and comparing are the Laurel Way Gear by Kate Spade and the Louis Vuitton Favorite MM. This is the bigger size of the two because it comes in PM and MM. And as you can see, they're pretty much the same size. So I'm going to start with the Kate Spade bag. Um, as you can see, it has this chain here. It just looks like this. It is kind of like a standard chain. Pretty heavy, to be honest. It has a flap, just like the other bag. And it has this button. This still is a magnet, but it's a magnetic closure. So it's magnet, but it's also a button. This is what it looks like on the inside. It just has the um, standard Kate Spade print on the inside with this like beige color. And I still have it stuffed actually. I've only carried this bag uh, once to a little gala thing. I just kept the paper in here to keep it shaped. Okay. And I still have the um, Kate Spade care card in there. This is what it looks like on the inside, inside the bag obviously. It has this one zipper pouch, which is, oh, I have more stuff in here. It's like the tag and the, another care card thing. So it can fit quite a bit. I'll show you guys um, some items in these bags so you can kind of get an idea of what will fit inside of them both. And then there's also this front pouch. It's a very roomy bag and it's very structured. That's the biggest thing I can say about this bag. It also, this feels like a very like durable canvas. I don't even know what this is called. Leather like texture. It could be leather. I don't even know. I'm not a professional. The strap is adjustable. So there are four holes on this strap. It can be removed. So the whole strap can be taken off. And actually I have worn this bag without the strap. It's a very cute little shoulder bag. Um, unfortunately, the chain cannot be removed. There are no clasps whatsoever to remove that. So you're kind of stuck with the chain, whether you like it or not. A cool little trick you can do is put the chain on the inside and then it's like there's no chain on it. So basically you can keep the bag without the chain and still have it be a crossbody. So this is what it looks like with no chain. You can't detach it, which is sad, but you can put it in the bag and it's like it was never there. That is the physical appearance of this bag and what it kind of entails. Now I'm gonna get on into the Louis Vuitton favorites. They're both honestly made the exact same. Um, so this is the flap. It does not have any like button here. It's really just a magnet. So you can kind of hear it. There we go. There's no external thing to like secure it more than just the magnet. We have the Vachetta strap here, which I will put on so you guys can kind of see. When I store it away, I like to keep the strap off of the bag. The chain is very dainty and a lot thinner than the other chain on the Kate Spade. Here is the inside of the bag. It only has one pocket here. The rest is just an open canvas. We can detach one side. As you guys can see, we have a little lobster claw here. This side is not detachable. So basically you can wear it as like a wristlet. I don't know, I've never seen anyone really wear it like this, but you could actually wear it like this and that'd be kind of cool. It's kind of like a wristlet. 
to like go to a fancy dinner or whatever, which I don't really go to. So I don't know when I would ever wear the bag like that. You can also put it inside to carry it just like a little pouch like this, or you can wear it crossbody. This is kind of the annoying thing about this bag is putting on the strap. I know a lot of people have talked about this, but this side of the strap does not have a clasp. You kind of have to just weave it through itself to get it on, which is kind of annoying, but I get it for the aesthetic and everything that they're going for. So this side actually goes on like that. Going on this Vachetta strap is not adjustable. That is a downfall, but honestly, from an aesthetic point of view and my style and my preference, I don't like seeing a buckle here um, to adjust the straps. So I'm perfectly fine with it. It sits pretty well on me and I don't, have to worry so much about having it be too long or too short because it fits really, really well on me. I also wanted to mention this bag is very pliable and it's like really bendy compared to the Kate Spade Laurel or L'Oreal or however you want to pronounce it. Um, the favorite really melds to the items inside of it. So it's not really rigid. It's a very like slouchy bag. But overall, that's pretty much it for the favorite from Louis Vuitton. I am going to do a comparison on what stuff looks like inside of the bags. This is an iPhone XS Max. I'm just gonna stick that in here. As you can see, it fits quite comfortably in there. Um, let me unzip the back pocket and see if it'll fit in here. So you cannot fit the phone in the back, in the back pocket. It does not fit lengthwise. You can't fit the phone in the front pocket. So this would have to go in the main compartment up here, kind of like that. This is a full-sized wallet. My aunt got me this, so. Oh, my aunt got me both of these things. So shout out to Aunt Wendy if she sees this. But anyway, this is a full-sized wallet, obviously, so thanks, Aunt Wendy, for getting me this. I'm gonna see how it fits in here. Okay, so a full-sized wallet does, in fact, fit in there. It, it kind of takes up the entire bag. Overall, it looks fine. The next item I have being a vlogger and everything is a point and shoot camera. This is the Canon G7X and I don't know if it'll fit in here. No, with the full size wallet like this, it cannot fit in this. There's no room. Next is a card holder. Looks like this. It is another Kate Spade. My aunt got this for me as well. Um, will this fit in there? Yes, it's a tight squeeze, but it can fit as you guys can see. From a practical standpoint, this bag does fit a lot. This will also fit in the little pocket up in front. So if you wanted to put that there, but I don't know how you'd close it. There we go. I honestly feel like this snap is a lot more strong than the magnet. I don't really see anything like falling out of this because it's a magnet and it is a snap. But if you didn't have a full-sized wallet, you could in fact fit the camera in there. The camera, card holder, and my phone all fit very comfortably in here. The glasses case, the full-size wallet, the camera. This is not looking so good for the Kate Spade because it does not fit all of that stuff. It can, it's not even fitting my phone, so I don't even know why I'm trying. But that's what it looks like and I cannot I can't close it. So that is what that looks like. And you can't really fit everything like that. It does fit all of my necessities, kind of like how I structured my favorite. It does fit all of that. So it fits a glasses case, my card holder and my phone and the camera, but it's a very tight squeeze. Like it's hard to get it in and out. This is definitely just an evening bag where you're putting your wallet, um, your sunglasses, and I don't know, maybe a lipstick. Definitely not something for like an everyday bag. Moving on to Louis, we are going to first put in the full-sized wallet. Okay, if this thing will even go in there. Then we have my phone. It's gonna go right in the front there. I also forgot this. Why do I always forget stuff? An eyeglasses case could also fit in here and it can actually close and not, wow, I'm actually impressed in this thing. Look at that. Okay, so a glasses case, a full-sized wallet, 
and a phone can all fit in here. I don't think the camera can fit in here. Maybe we can try. Let me like stuff it in there. Whoa, oh my gosh, that's insane. Okay, so it's really, really stuffed to the brim. Like, as you can see, it's like, it's pretty stuffed, but it fits all of that. I'm amazed. Okay, look at this. Whoa, okay. Child tested, mother approved. Well, actually she didn't really approve this because of the price. I'm just kidding. She actually was very encouraging. Whoa, okay, so I'm like really <laughs> impressed at this. Maybe I'm getting a little too impressed. Let's see if this will fit in here. I don't know. This is like an extra, normally people don't carry like a full size wallet and a card holder, but I guess we could like see if it'll fit in there. Yeah, it barely fits. I don't, I think that's kind of pushing it, but oh, I got some. Oh, a sticker. Hmm. I forgot about that stuff. So basically this fits a lot of stuff. As you can see, this is actually kind of the way I carried it. I had a card holder, my glasses case, and the camera in here. I honestly don't suggest overstuffing it like that, but if you like had to have all of that stuff, it could work. This is what it should look like. It's not stuffed. It's kind of just flat like a pancake but this is the original way of how I carried my essentials. Obviously I had more stuff in this bag, but that's what it kind of looks like. And it fits everything very comfortably. So which one fits more? It is the favorite and I can't get over that. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be this one, the Kate Spade, but this is not, the material is not pliable. You cannot stuff it to the brim. It won't let you and you cannot get it closed. So this one does not fit as much as this one. I love the magnetic snap that this one has. It's very secure, but this is also very secure. And I have never had an issue with this one coming open. So I'm just really impressed with this. Um, I do like how this one looks aesthetically, but this is a very clean and sleek design. I don't know. They're, they're essentially, I know, I said it in the beginning, they're the same bag. But if I had to go with one from, well, price point, obviously this one. But if you're willing to like save up and hunt because this is a really hard bag to get or buy pre-loved or whatever, then I would go with the Louis Vuitton just because I'm a Louis girl, but Honestly, they're the same bag. Um, and this one also fits more. Like I, can't, I still can't get over that. But overall, that is my review of these bags. They're essentially the same. This one holds a little bit more, weirdly enough. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful at all, give this video a thumbs up. I know you guys like my reviews and I thought this comparison video would be a really fun type of review and something I've never really done. So if it was informative, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more purse content because maybe I'll make some more videos about purses. I love watching purse videos. So leave any ideas in the comments and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.